How you doing? I'm Brendan. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about what scalar variables are in general and specifically in PHP. So if you have any programming experience at all, if you've ever written PHP code or pretty much any other programming language, you've probably used a scalar variable. A scalar variable is a variable that contains only one piece of data at a time or one uh, you know, one piece of information at a time. Uh, in PHP, there are four types of scalar variables. You can have an int, a float, a string, or a bool. So a boolean. So true or false. Those are the only types of scalar variables that PHP and uh, also C have. Um, there are more complex or composite data types like uh, an array, which isn't actually an array. Weirdly in PHP, uh, an array is actually a map. Uh, typically an array has uh, an ordered list of um, data with multiple elements of a set length and they're all the same data type. In PHP, an array is actually a map, which is like a key value uh, thing. So uh, weird, but a thing. And that's pretty much all there is. So uh, in PHP, there are other data types. Um, you can look them up on the man page for uh, PHP. This will be in the show notes. Um, and then there's also a definition of scalar. Scalar is not um, specifically a computer programming term. It's a, it's a math term. It means a variable in math that has only one uh, value. So that's where it comes from because computers are also science and stuff. So that's it. That's all you need to know about scalar variables. Other languages uh, like JavaScript also have scalar variables, but there are more than like undefined is technically a scalar variable in JavaScript, I guess. I don't know. I'm not like super great with JavaScript. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to know about scalar variables. Good luck.